Fire Duck. Today, it's all about brushes. So we have an abundance of brushes on our website and we get a lot of questions about them. So why not do a video all about our acrylic brushes so you can see the differences? Because you know, when you're choosing an acrylic brush, you want it to be the best and you want it to fit to your needs. So let's get cracking. I'm going to start with our old brush. So we've gone from our double-ended Alicia brush and now you can actually buy the Alicia brush individually. So you can buy the Alicia 3D and the Alicia Sculpt brush. It is slightly different. It's new and improved. So I want to show you the difference between them because we already have Oscar the Wild and Mr. Buttons. Mr. Buttons is a size 10. Oscar the Wild is a size 12. So we made the Alicia one slightly bigger because we thought, well, that was pretty pointless having the same brush in different packaging. Do you know what I mean? So it's slightly bigger. And it's also more of a paddled brush. So when I teach, I come across girls with loads of different brushes and they like their brushes for different reasons. So we're all not the same. Some of us like a pointy brush, some of us like a paddle brush. It depends how you work. So hopefully this video will help you to make your own choices to your needs. So it's double-ended which some people love, some people don't. Some people just want the acrylic brush. Some people just want the 3D brush. So it's like, we listened. A lot of people wanted to buy them individually. So we've given you that opportunity. So if I show you the Alicia Sculpt, which is your acrylic brush, it is a size 14. So you can see it's bigger, more body. It's got, you know, it's got the Lizzo body. It's body, yaddy, yaddy. It's got all the curves. You can see the difference there. So the Oscar brush is very similar to the original Alicia brush. So if I just get this into a point, you can see it's very, very similar. They both have a good body. They both go into a point. So if you love the Alicia brush, the original OG, you are going to love Oscar the Wild. The reason that I love the Alicia Sculpt brush is because it paddles out. I'm gonna show you this. So you can see it paddles out beautifully. The shape of the tip matches the cuticle area. So that is perfect for that. It won't point as much as this. So if you like a pointy brush, go with either Oscar the Wild or Mr. Buttons. Now, Mr. Buttons is smaller. So if you're a newbie, you might like a smaller brush. So you go with Mr. Buttons. And then we've got the Izzy Busy brush. And again, this one paddles out. It paddles out, it's slightly flatter at the top. Okay, so you can pick quite a square bead up. This is brilliant for infills. So we have a gorgeous 3D brush that is ever so slightly longer, but thinner. So this is the original one. It's slightly wider and shorter, whereas this one's ever so slightly, it's like one millimeter longer. The reason I wanted it slightly longer is so we could get a little bit more finesse with those 3D flowers and everything like that. So we can, we can be a little bit softer at times, but we can still use the belly of the brush to create a lot of pressure, so it's perfect. So I'll show you how they pick up beads. They all have lids. It's really important to have a lid on your brush because you want to protect it from the dust that's in the air, the particles, people coughing COVID all over them. Do you know what I mean? You need to keep it nice and clean, so the lid is super important. When you go to a slightly bigger brush, be careful when you're putting that, that lid on. You don't want to just whack it on and then you take the lid off and it's like this. It's not good there, isn't it? Okay, so let's pick up some beads so we can see. So, and I will use the smallest one, which is the Mr. Buttons brush. We'll use that first of all. I'm gonna saturate the brush with the acrylic liquid, the monomer, and I'm just gonna gently slide up. I'm not gonna take loads out. I'm just making sure it's not dripping. 45 degree angle. One, two, three. 
pick it up. Now it looks a little bit dry, doesn't it? But if you touch that bead with your brush, it will feed more liquid into it. Now, if you want to get a small bead because you're doing an infill, I use the Mr. Buttons brush for infills a lot, as well as the um, Izzy brush. It depends on the shape of the client. I just use them all, you see, because I'm dead fussy like that. So, smaller bead, we're going to go one, two, three. Pop that down, wipe the brush, and we get a smaller bead. It's got a lovely clean release from the brush. That's really important. I'm going to show you the Oscar the Wild brush. So this is a bigger brush. So we're going to wipe this the same. 45 degree angle. One, two, three. Pat, pat, pat. So we get slightly more product because it's slightly bigger. And again, I'm going to slide off some more of the acrylic liquid. So I'm going to go in slide off with a little bit more pressure and come higher. So I'm going to go one, two, three, place that down, clean my brush. So yes, you can get a small bead, but we still have a little, it's a little bit bigger because there is more brush making contact with the powder. There is more liquid in the brush making contact with the powder. So that's why it's a little bit bigger. Right, now I'm going to show you the Izzy Busy brush. So this is brilliant for those of you that love to work paddled. So same again, 45 degree angle. One, two, three. Lovely release from the brush. So we pat it roughly the same thickness. It's very similar to this, which was the Oscar, the wild. Can you see the difference in shape, length? But can you see how the Izzy brush has more body? Now, if you prefer a firmer pressure and firmer touch to your acrylic, then this is the brush. So the Izzy Busy brush will have a firmer pressure. Now, lighter pressure, these brushes, which are the Oscar, the Wild, and Mr. Buttons, are designed for lighter pressure because they are slightly longer and they have less body. And they are a lot lighter in weight, which will give you a lighter touch to your product. So if you're a little bit heavy handed, you might like the other ones, but you might like these if you want to become a little bit more lighter on the fingers. And then the Alicia Sculpt is our biggest brush. So if you like a big brush, most people who like a big brush like a paddled brush because you can pick up a big bead, you can do that one bead application, it's dead quick, lovely and quick for salon because you know time is money. So you can pick up that one big bead. So 45 degree angle, one, two, three, especially if you're doing nails that are, you know, they, they are long. And I can instantly see that we have way more product here. And I've not even patted this as thin as the other ones yet. And we're still going. It's a big boy. So you can see, that you'll get a big bead with the Alicia Sculpt brush. So if you like a big bead, go for it. But let me just show you. Let's go a higher angle with less liquid. One, two, three. You can still pick up a small bead. So just because it's a big brush doesn't mean you can't pick up a small bead. It's all about the angle into the powder as well. So if I use the Alicia Sculpt on this nail now, one, two, three. Notice how the thinness of the very tip really helps you at that cuticle area. So you can get it nice and flush without flooding that cuticle area.
And now I'm using more of the body of the brush, like that belly. I'm using that belly because we want more pressure because the product starts to set ever so slightly. So we need more pressure. And we're just pat, press and pulling the product all the way to the tip. And because it paddles out so much, it's so easy to get the surface nice and smooth. And getting that application nice and even and smooth will help you when it comes to filing because there will be minimal filing needed. And that is a big nail. It's a size zero. So it's one of the biggest nails that you'll sort of come across. And we did all that with just one bead from the Alicia brush. Now, you can use, because I've, I've done this and it's, it's quite cool. You can use the Mr. Buttons brush with Aquagel. And you can also use the Izzy Busy brush with Aquagel because they are both small enough but they once one gives you lighter touch one gives you firmer touch so Izzy Busy firmer touch Mr Buttons lighter touch yeah and I have, I have used them and I've even used the um, Oscar but when you have a brush that's like made with Kalinsky and everything like that, the oils from the monomer actually nourish the brush. Uh, but if you keep putting it into, you know, either acetone or um, isopropyl alcohol, you know, it will dehydrate the brush. So we have a synthetic brush, which is the Brendette brush, which is brilliant for gel. And then you don't get that dehydration as much so i'm going to show you the izzy busy it's a smaller nail but you're still going to be able to get quite a big bead one two three and with this it doesn't matter which way around you pop that on you can pop it on this way or that way it doesn't really matter nice high angle to get that Sort it out at the back and then we can tip the finger down and we can start to pat, press and pull the product down. And again, because it paddles so lovely, it's a lot easier to get that even distribution of product. So you can get it nice and smooth. You can even get a small bead. You see how that was the perfect shape. So this is our smallest brush, which is Mr. Buttons. I'm going to show you this. See how small that is. So if you were doing a fill, say this nail needed a fill, you want to go from side to side. It remains quite small. There's less brush making contact with the product, which is fine if that's what you need and then you can feather that down and it'll feather down nice but that's as paddles as you're going to get it i'm going to show you picking up beads with oscar so oscar the wild see so again you can see the massive difference so it would definitely be a two bead application Can you see how it's a lighter touch though? It's a lot lighter. We can really blend that section. So because it doesn't paddle as much, we have to pat and press this way, but it is more controlled. So everybody likes brushes for different reasons. So you need to figure out why you like a brush. They all have great release from the product and they all work beautifully, but they all have different advantages.
Now, if you're doing a smaller nail, if you do loads of short nails, you've got an abundance of short nails coming through your door, then using the Mr. Buttons brush will be perfect for you. If you have an abundance of backfills, if you're doing infills or backfills all the time, then this will be the brush for you because it is a lot smaller. But if you love that pinched paddle brush, then it's easy busy duck. If you want a big boy that's super paddled, it's Alicia Sculpt. Right, let's show you the 3D. And if you're wondering why these are called Mr. Buttons and Oscar the Wild, they are named after my two rog rogdoll, rogdoll, what? Ragdoll kittens, kittens, they're not kittens anymore, they're cats, they're growing up. Well, and Oscar's the bigger one, to be honest, he's a little, he's a little you know. He likes his food, does Oscar. And then Mr. Buttons is a little bit smaller, so that's why they're called that. Um, the Alicia brush is named Alicia because that's my eldest daughter. The Izzy Busy brush is named after my best friend. So yeah, I enjoyed naming them. Right, let's get cracking with the Alicia 3D. So we have a um, Adam 3D, which is a synthetic brush, which is great for doing um, 3D work with plasticine gel or pastelline gel or whatever you want to call it 3d gel basically amazing for doing that you can use it for acrylic as well but this is gorgeous for acrylic so this is your acrylic alicia 3d brush it's kalinsky so i went in one two three it holds the perfect amount to create petals and pressure it's perfect again because of the length. Some people find it with a really short brush quite hard to get the angles because we have a little bit of flexibility at the very tip of the bristles. It allows you to press out still keeping definition. So even if you're a little bit heavy handed, it's hard to kind of go wrong with this brush. So you can see how you get these lovely little lines as well. I don't know if you can get that on camera. You get these lovely little indentations of the, the bristles of the brush, which looks so cool. They like make it look more realistic. So you can see how that brush bends, it's so important that you get that. It just makes it so much easier. I find this very therapeutic. Like I could just keep doing this all day. Like no more videos, we'll just make 3D flowers like all day. 3D flower challenge. <laughs> yeah. How, okay, how many can you make? Make a whole florist. I can just tuck inside the brush. And that was this tiny, tiny bead. So when you want the tiny bead like this, which is like, you know, two millimetres worth of acrylic. <laughs> instead of like submerging the entire brush into the liquid. So instead of going all the way in with the brush, all you want to do is slide down and just let the tip of the brush and then you can get a tiny, tiny, tiny itsy bitsy 
teeny weeny bead. So you can see you can get loads of detail with that 3D brush. So, as confusing as that might be, we'll do a little recap so you can make the choice on what brush is best for you. So you've got the 3D brush, which is just a no-brainer. You've got to get that. And then, so we've got Mr. Buttons. Gorgeous, nice, point, absolutely gorgeous. Great for beginners. If you're a beginner, that is the brush for you. Then we've got Oscar the Wild. Lovely point again. So if you're like, if you've been doing nails a bit and you're getting a bit more confident, that is the brush for you. And then we'll move on to the Izzy Busy brush, which comes in the same packaging as all of our like all of our art brushes. So if you if you're a little bit OCD and you like everything matching, then this is this is the brush. So this brush paddles off lovely, helping you get super even, perfected nails. Can you see how it paddles off? It's got a nice big body. It holds a lot of liquid. And you can really put a lot of firm pressure with this brush due to its big body. And then we've got the Alicia Sculpt, which is just an absolute dream. If you do a lot of nails and you want to be quick and you like doing one bead application, this is the brush for you. So because it matches the cuticle of the majority of people, do you know what I mean? Everybody is different. You're able to one bead and not have to mess around with the cuticle too much. Okay? Nice paddle, big body. She's a big body girl. I absolutely love her. That is all of the acrylic brushes. There's a whole selection. We've catered them all for very different needs. Which one's my favorite? I know you're gonna ask me. I feel like my babies, I can't choose one. I love them all. But which one's your favourite? Let me know what you've got. If you've got any of these brushes, tell me what you've got. Comment below, because I want to know. And I want to know what you want from a brush. Is it good pressure? Is it a fine point? Is it a paddled brush? Let me know. I want to hear your opinions, because they matter to me. So, everything I've used today will be listed below, as always. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and all that shebang. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ta-da!